So here I am in Google Documents. I've created a flowchart here that I want to include in one of my blog posts, either to my personal blog or to the course blog. And so um, it's pretty big. I want to I want to make sure that folks can see this okay. First thing I need to do is select uh, edit and then download as and save this as a JPEG. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Something the JPEG that can be published in the blog. I'm going to save this and I'm going to call it um, flowchart. I'll save it on my desktop just so I can find it real quickly. Um, and we'll just save it as a JPEG. Okay, that's been saved there. So I'm all set. Now I'm going to go back to uh, the dashboard for my blog and I've gone into create uh, entry with my personal blog or in this case it's the course blog and I've opened up a new entry and I'll just put the title in here for that uh, entry here and then I'll begin uh, typing information about the diagram or the flowchart that I've got to put in here and then hit return a couple times give myself some space and then use the insert image icon to um, insert this image. So I'll go find it, upload a new image, find it on my computer. Uh, there it is, flowchart. I'll select that one, click open, and upload this into the blog system. Now, as you can see from down here, it's telling me that this image is 720 pixels wide, which is too wide for a um, blog entry to be able to see the entire uh, diagram clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this and say um, don't show it to me at 720, show it to me at 500 wide and that's about uh, a good size for the blog uh, interface so I can see the whole thing, so people can see the whole thing. And in addition I'm going to use this box as well to click link this to an image that's uh, it'll pop up so somebody can click on that image and see the full blown version of it. So I've uploaded it, I've saved it from my Google Docs to my desktop, I've uploaded it and then reduced the size so I'm just going to publish a thumbnail of it uh, in the, uh, in the uh, blog entry. I'll click the finish button here and that'll insert it, that image into my blog entry. Um, I can come down here and then um, add uh, uh, some uh, tags for the course uh, and uh, perhaps a, another one here, um, perspectives. We'll add those two blogs there and click save to publish this blog entry. And let's see, take a look and see what it looks like here. So that's been saved. We can view the entry. I've got my blog window open here and I'll hit refresh. And so here's the entry that I just created, um, and it shows me the entire diagram, even a smaller version so that I can see the whole thing. And you can see it's a link now, so when I click on this, let me bring this down for you, you can see that it gives me a pop-up window so that somebody can see the full-blown details. You can do this with diagrams, you can do this with any image type that you insert into the blog. So we've gone to Google Documents, we've created our drawing thing. It is bigger than we wanted it, uh, than, than uh, can be published here on the blog, so you can see the whole thing. Um, but when we upload it, we're going to make sure we check that box to make it about 500 pixels wide so we can see the whole thing.